Hello students. So today we are going to discuss one more problem. And uh, this question is from TIFR 2022 examination. And uh, this question is from crystal structure. Okay. See, uh, many times in the question means uh, any examination, some question we got that uh, in which we don't need to use pen. Okay. So this question is like just means you can say among that type of question, right? See, uh, basically in this question, uh, it was given the four diagram, okay? First of all, I will say this diagram. First four diagram was given in the four option. And uh, it was written there that uh, these four are the unit cell. So two dimensional unit cell is there, okay? These four are the two dimensional unit cell. And uh, it's also said that these vectors, in each diagram, these vectors are the primitive lattice vector. These are the primitive lattice vector in each, each diagram. And uh, the, basically the question was that which of the following, among the following four option, which lattice or you can say which unit cell is a primitive unit cell, okay? Which of the following is a primitive unit cell? So. Before solving this question, I want to tell you the basic definition or the basic thing about the primitive unit cell. See, what is a unit cell? Unit cell is basically, uh, there's a parallelogram in the two dimension structure. When, you, we, uh, when we repeat that parallelogram throughout the whole lattice, then we can get the complete lattice, okay? See, without any void left. That's the definition of unit cell. And what is a primitive unit cell? Primitive unit cell, the smallest, if you, if you talk about the two dimension structure, the smallest area, the smallest area of the parallelogram. So that uh, the parallelogram, which will have the smallest area that we can say, okay, this can be our primitive unit cell, but not alone this property can hold. One more property is there for the primitive unit cell. And the property is, again, while repeating that parallelogram that structure we can get we have to get the complete lattice without any void left okay so basically we have to see in this four option that which of the lattice vector when we repeating that lattice vector and uh, when we will get the complete lattice without any void left so see the first definition says that for the primitive unit cell, the smallest area, okay? So when you say that smallest area, then first of all, when you see the question paper, first of all, this first option will be eliminated. See, first option will be eliminated according to the students who knows that, okay, the smallest area will have the primitive unit cell. So according to these four diagram, this, this, and this have the smallest area as compared to this one. So first of all, student will el eliminate this, but no. The correct option is A, okay? The correct option is A. Let's see how. First of all, see the option number B. We have to see this diagram very carefully so that when we repeat this parallelogram throughout the lattice so that we can get the complete lattice without any void or without any space left, okay? See, uh, if you see this, four void is there and in this four void there's a one solid point is a lattice point is and i will say this is a solid point okay among the four void there's a one solid point so we have to basically see that whether can we get the complete lattice without any space left after repeating this parallelogram see this one see this one this area okay this one See, when you see, uh, when you will get any one point, which is not set, uh, which is not satisfying this complete rule, then you can ignore that option straight away. No need to go for any other space point. No, each and every point in the space of the lattice has been covered. Okay, is it mandatory? So if it any void left, that means it cannot be the primitive unit cell. If we see this area, okay, this four void is there in between. There's a lattice solid lattice point see okay there's a solid lattice point is there but if we repeat this only we get one two 
and three void. We can't get here the four void. Fourth void is not there. Okay, the fourth void is not there. So when we will repeat this parallelogram, we cannot get the complete lattice without any space left. So this option cannot be correct. Okay, see the D option. In the four void, and in between the four void, there's a one solid lattice point. And above that, there's again void. And above that, there's again a solid lattice point. Okay. Okay. So now let's see. See this area, this area. When you will repeat, when you will repeat completely here, when you will repeat this parallelogram here, you cannot get the exactly same parallelogram, same units are like this. Okay. You, you can get the four void, but you cannot get the solid point in between. You cannot get the solid point in between. Okay. You cannot get a solid point above that. So that means if you repeat this unit cell, you cannot get the complete lattice without any space left. So this option also the wrong one. See the C option. The square is given. And uh, on each face of the square, there's a void. And in between, there's a solid lattice point. OK? Just repeat it. Let's see where I where we can repeat. OK, see this one. See this one. This one. We can make a square here. OK? We can make a square here. Every, every other property is satisfying. OK? We can make a square with four voids on the face also in between a solid point but above this void we are getting a solid point but above this void we cannot uh, above this solid uh, this solid point we are getting a void okay okay so this option can not be true again when you will see this option option number a okay see two solid point and in between, there's a void, solid point, void. Between the two solid point is a void, solid point, void. And these two solid lattice point connected with a solid lattice point. You can repeat in any manner. Okay. You can repeat in any manner. You can repeat in this manner. Just take, just take this, this one. Between those, between these two solid point, there's a two void and one solid lattice. And when you will cover this one like this, you can get exactly the same lattice, exactly the same unit cell like given in the question. So when you will repeat this unit cell, you can get the complete lattice without any void left. That means the option A is a correct one. And this is our right option. I hope uh, you have understand the concept of primitive unit cell. Exactly. This is a very beautiful question. Okay, and uh, and it's a very uh, you can say tactical question because uh, the correct option uh, the correct option unit cell was framing in a very big means in a, in a very big area. So just seeing that uh, straight away student can el eliminate option number A, but that option is correct. Okay, so option A is a correct one. Thank you.